stroke of midnight. On New Year's Eve of the last decade of the 20th century, America's largest city is about to pay for the nastiness of its inhabitants. When that day comes, when the slime starts to rise, the Titanic just arrived. When ghosts start arriving by the boatload, we gotta find the guys. There's only one thing to do. Look out! Look out! Sometimes weird things happen. Someone has to deal with it. And who are you gonna call? Right, suck in the cuts, guys. We're the Ghostbusters. The superstars of the supernatural are back to nuke the spooks. Two in the box. Ready to go. We be fast and they be slow. Make some time. Don't put any of those old cheap moves on me. No, no, no. It's different. I have all new cheap moves. Raise your spirits. If we don't do something by midnight, you will be remembered in history as the man who let New York get sucked down into the tenth level of hell. And kick some slime. Looks like a giant jello mold. I hate jello. Oh, come on. There's always room for jello. Happy New Year. Close them. Ghostbusters 2. You're short. Your belly button sticks out too far. And you're a terrible burden on your poor mother. Bill Murray. Dan Aykroyd. Sigourney Weaver. Harold Ramis. Rick Moranis and Ernie Hudson in an Ivan Reitman film. <laughs> Ghostbusters 2. We're the best, we're the beautiful, we're the only Ghostbusters. Yeah. We're back! Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Deep in the woods, a young grizzly cop lost and alone. This is the story of a unique journey and an extraordinary friendship. There are some things in life only a friend can teach him and others he must discover alone. But there are some things nothing can prepare him for. <laughs> TriStar Pictures presents an astonishing adventure. That's a huge male. But he's more than 1,500 pounds. An hour, hour and a half. Jean-Jacques Arnaud, the director of Quest for Fire, comes the most talked about movie of the year. The Bear. Coming soon. Gene Wilder. I'm deaf! Repeat, deaf. Richard Pryor. I'm blind. Repeat, blind. Together again. Uh, it was all the it was uh, we can hang out like this more often! In trouble again. Wally, there's a gun here. Hey! Get rid of it! Hey! Between the two of you, you saw and you heard everything. He reads lips, you're talking too fast. Was there or wasn't there a woman? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a woman. On the run again. I think we should kill them. Don't guide me, they're looking for a blind guy and a deaf guy. Stamp your feet, I'll follow the sound. I feel ridiculous. You look fine to me! Oh, yeah. Who the hell was driving? Richard Pryor. You mean I'm not white? It feels like it. <laughs> ah! And Gene Wilder. Do you really think you can stop comedy? Not if it's funny. A good comedy, as you call it, is worth its weight in gold. Are back. I don't know what you're looking for, but it's a little to the right. See no evil, hear no evil. How am I doing? distant past, a holy place, a time when a child of the country 
and a scholar of the cloth would light a fire to all that was forbidden. If I were to take a woman, I would be spitting in the face of God. You're a man like other men. You find it difficult to repent of this sin? Yes, sir. Why? I love her, Father. You'll destroy each other, you know that, don't you? What the devoted worshipped, they defied. It challenges established knowledge. What the laws denied, they took. Ruined you, and he's ruined me. What heaven promised, they stole. It is the time of judgment. This isn't the only blood that will flow. What do you do if your life just isn't adding up? Zero! Dad. Nothing seems to satisfy your family. Dad, I don't think I'd really be happy at H&R Block. And you're starting to lose your positive attitude. Josh, losing those jobs is the best thing that ever happened to us. Free to pursue our destiny. What, abysmal failure? Well, if you're Josh and Ivan, you get some video equipment. You're getting that crap out of here now! Find a place to set it up. You guys want to share the space? and become tape heads. Yo, friends, check this out. Roscoe's the name, and they call me the king. Grandmaster of the chicken and the waffle thing. I sit now, read my lips, and friends, don't miss a word, cause the grandmaster's gonna give you the bird. That's it. At first, progress is slow. Yeah, but normal people don't get paid in chicken and waffles. Hey, come on, eat up, man. The stuff's good. But you meet new friends. I'm Kmart. <laughs> improve your directing you can style. Josh, Josh, you can do it! Josh, the man is dead. You're not going to get a different line reading. Finally, make it in the sophisticated world of rock videos. Now that's production value. Where you can help the people that you really care about. Tim Robbins. Hey, Pets. It's about truth, justice, and the American way. And John Cusack. It's about greed, avarice, and the triangle of success. With Lester and Billy, the legendary swanky modes, played by Sam Moore and Junior Walker. And Tape Heads, a music comedy about trying and succeeding, whether you want to or not. Do you see this? You know what this is? It's a death certificate. Yours. Shut up. Martin Sheen. Oh, you malignant, lopsided old liar. Bernard Hughes. If the old heart hadn't gone back on me the evening before last, I'd be alive today. Is that a fact? It is. There are no shallows to which you won't sink, are there? There aren't. Academy Award nominee William Hickey. Like the old man, your foster father. There are millions like him. They never said no in their lives, or to their lives. And they cheerfully see the rest of us buried. Carl Hayden. My ma always says... What? That if you run into me dad with a motor car, he'd thank you for the lift. Da. Based on Hugh Leonard's critically acclaimed Broadway hit and starring Barnard Hughes reprising his Tony Award-winning role as Da. Da, the story of a son who goes home to face his father's ghost. Tommy! He destroyed me, you know that. Couldn't even let me lose my virginity in peace. Lose your what? It doesn't screw off. What? Me leg. 
Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Why wouldn't you come live with us in New York when we asked you? Ah, New York, did it? Maybe wind up in an early grave with the food they serve up here there. I once called him an ignorant man. I still do. Yet he may have been better off. Duh. What was it like? What? Time. I didn't care for it. Duh.